Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video we are going to learn about how to make bilayer system or a stacking, different kind of stacking like AB, AB, AA, AB, AB and all those stacking in Metro Studio and apart from that we will be learning about how to find out the binding energy and the interaction energy of a molecule or of a system, okay, any system, it can be anything. So formula and everything is going to be same. So suppose for materials we have taken one graphene layer and another will be the layer of a germanium and graphene like uh, germanium and graphene it's a heterostructure will be creating over here. So we'll go to the display style and so here we'll go to the lattice menu and we'll increase the third dimension. So as you can see is in the third dimension we have again this lattice at a distance of the distance between this lattice is how much we we'll find it out it is roughly around 59 angstrom right so generally if you want like um, this is kind of not a stacking because there is no interaction between layers right suppose you want to have a uh, ab stacking right just two layers like interacting each other so what we'll do is we have to decrease the third dimension so that they will interact each other and they will feel Suppose for a graphene, if you want like AB, AB is stacking kind of system. So what we have to do is, we'll go to the build menu and go to the crystals and rebuild the crystal. Okay. And there suppose the interaction, see, in the graphene is a two dimensional lattice of graphite, right? But in graphite also, these graphene lattice is not on above, above. it's not AA stacking, right? They're just slipping because of this pi pi interaction. And uh, that's how we'll be having a AB, AB stacking, right? So, We'll go to this lattice parameter and in graphite also the interaction between layers distance is 3.3 angstrom right roughly so we'll give a roughly uh, 3 angstrom here in the third dimension uh, so there will be some interaction in the layer and we'll click on the apply okay then what you'll uh, see is this third dimension will decrease now you have this uh, two lattice which is like aa stacking of graphene lattice right but you don't want aa stacking right you want uh, suppose right now what is there uh, if you click see this ring is on above this ring right suppose this is the a stacking uh, now what you want a b stacking of the same graphene lattice in that case what we need to do is we'll make a super cell right see right now this and this both are equivalent even if you are making uh, like losing the symmetry both will be equivalent so what we need to do is first we need to increase the lattice in the third dimension and after that we have to go to you know, symmetry and make it a super cell create a super cell 2 into 2 into 2 super cell fine okay once your super cell is ready so this is our super cell what we need to do is we need to make uh, a b a b lattice right so first we'll increase in the this direction and see this is a b a so this we have to move in a such a way so that we are having a this ring is coming here uh, i'll show you how go to this movement menu and from here you can see see nicely this carbon atom is the center here right now go to this uh, find symmetry menu and here just click on find symmetry now you can see you are getting the proper symmetry right so right now you are getting this layer this layer is different and this layer is different right and they have some interaction so this is the a b a b stacking of graphene lattice right because you can see this layer is not just as same this is the a b a b stacking of this lattice right now fine now this guy is not equivalent to this guy equivalency will be same because see this is just the stacking right equivalence will be same atom will be equivalent so this is the AB AB stacking of this lattice, right? Suppose instead of AB AB stacking, you just want uh, some hetero structures to be here. So what we need to do is in case you wanted to have a hetero structure, we have to See here itself I can put one another element but since it is like you know they are equivalent so I have to first 
go to the build menu and go to the symmetry make it a super cell and then accordingly oh the super cell now it's a bigger super cell i have to choose a smaller one i'll take this small super cell <coughs> okay fine now i'll make a super cell super cell and create okay now suppose i want to change this carbon to germanium go to the uh, modify and in modify menu go to the modify elements and here you change this to whatever element you want i suppose i want this okay so this atom is changed right now so if I increase and you can see see this lattice can you see this okay now we'll go to optimize this uh, symmetry impose once i impose the symmetry i'll be getting so here you can see this is the kind of a b a so this is the a b a b stacking of graphene and germanium graphene or gec this is the heterostructure right since we have interaction in the uh, this see if you want to see the distance between these layers it is roughly around 3 angstrom so there is an interaction right weak interaction is there so in this way we can find out the uh, a b a b stacking different kind of stacking and once you have done with the structures then you have to optimize the structure uh, using gft method whatever method you choose optimize the structure okay so this is the primarily the way okay and suppose you don't want the uh, these layers you want just ab ab stacking just you want ab stacking means one layer of this and this along so this layer you wanted to have a, uh, a distance more than 10 angstrom so that there is no interaction between this this layer and this layer right so what we'll do is go to the build menu and go to the crystals and here we'll increase this 6 to suppose i'm giving 20 here Okay. Okay. I don't know what kind of problem is this. This should not be like this. Okay. I will simply increase it from here. Okay, Twenty. Okay. Now this layer I want it down, so that there is an interaction between them. Before that, I have to go to the symmetry and make it even so that this guy will come down. I want an interactive distance, and this guy I want to go up. That's enough. Okay, a little down. That's okay. Fine. Now impose the symmetry, find symmetry, and you'll be getting a proper symmetry. Fine. So right now, what you have is you have just a uh, you know a b layer and this is third dimension is totally used so just this is the a b layer or uh, this is kind of a b stacking or this is the heterostructure right suppose you want just the the other layer also in the same as graphene that you have to move this lattice by you know here and that time itself i have just made the staggered configuration right because the staggered is more preferred over the layers so this is kind of slipping is there so this is preferred so whatever structure you want you can make it like this right if you want to see it i will remove the third dimension and put some value so that it will be visible okay fine right so you just have one layer and another layer and you increase it you can see this see nicely this is the germanium and carbon which is like a mixed system and this is the graphene la layer so this is the kind of a heterostructure. So in this way you can design the structure and uh, then you have to go to the cast up menu or demo 3 whatever you wish and calculate it. Once you are done with the calculation of the so no, first what you need to do is first you need to find out the total energy of this system right. And another case you need to select this first you have to go to the build menu go to symmetry make it P1 then you delete this out. Go to the see right now what will happen is uh, first you go to the build 
uh, sorry modif yeah build menu and in the symmetry make it p1 then delete this okay now you have just this guy okay once you have this guy find out the uh, just optimize the geometry in uh, one case okay and another case what you do is delete this uh, this alone and find out the op like optimize geometry of this and the energy once you got those energies after that what you need to do is you need to find out the see you have two formulas one is the interaction formula like interaction energy another is the binding energy okay see both are generally there is a small difference okay if i say in the interaction the, uh, energy what is there we have the total energy of both layer a as well as b okay total energy after geometry optimization minus the energy of graphene that should be just energy means there should not be a geometry optimization means when you are having this layer okay delete this uh, germanium and carbon layer and you should have just this alone and when you are using cast step for the calculation don't choose geometry optimization just energy alone okay so this is important so just energy alone you have to choose and similarly for uh, gec layer also you have to find out the just energy alone don't optimize if you are doing that and you are using this formula you will be getting the interaction energy okay now coming to the binding energy for the binding energy total energy of that both layer a and b fine now the uh, you have to and delete the other layer of germanium and carbon and you have to keep just graphene lattice and then you have to optimize it optimize that graphene lattice means in the cast step manual you have to select the geometry optimization not just the energy you have you, you have you need to select geometry optimization for both layers separately okay you need to find out the you know the energy of uh, graphene and the this layer separately and that structure should be optimized once you use that total energy that will be giving you the binding energy of the system right so in this way you can find out the interaction energy and the binding energy of any molecules or any system see right now i gave you example of a material instead of material it can be a molecule also in gaussian you just take suppose you are having a, a, a benzene ring and some other substituent is there or some complex so in the interaction energy you have to just Uh, pluck out those molecule and find out the uh, just energy single point calculation of those specific molecules and in the binding energy you have to separately separately optimize those molecule okay then you'll be getting the binding energy so this is the way to find out the interaction energy binding energy and how to do this stacking different different kind of stacking right thank you for watching